reaction as Covenant University student reveals how Oyedepo placed a course on his roommates. A Covenant University student revealed on his Twitter handle how Bishop Oyedepo of Living Faith Church personally placed a heavy course on his roommates, but the course was not effective. In case you are wondering how the Covenant University student came in contact with Bishop Oyedepo of Living Faith Church. Covenant University is a private Christian university in Ota, Ogo State, Nigeria. According to Google, Covenant University is affiliated with Living Faith Church worldwide and also a member of the Commonwealth Universities Association of African University and National Universities Commission, NUC. Religiously, it is a sin to cause someone not to talk of a man of God, laying a course on his follower. Even the Bible said we should place and do not cause. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, it's a crime. It's a very big crime and a very big offense for um, someone to lay cause on someone. Even the Bible stated it that our parents should not cause. Instead, they should bless. The mouth they were using, cursing, the Bible stated that you should use it to say the same mouth to bless us. So for you saying that Bishop Oyedipo lay a cause on a student and uh, the cause didn't, uh, uh, didn't gain effects in the life of that boy means that Bishop Oyedipo never lay a cause. Yes. See, before someone will lay a curse on someone, that curse must first of all come from the depth of, the, of that person's heart. And besides, something must have warranted him to lay a curse on that, on that student. I'm not trying to be biased because um, I'm not trying to say that because I'm a member of Living Faith Church. I am not. Neither am I a student of Covenant University, but I'm speaking as a lay person. You understand? Um, first and foremost, yes, Bishop Oedipo has offended. For laying a course on the students, that's one. Two, I want to say that the course that he laid wasn't effective because I think um, what the, the young man, the young man actually did to him, never went deep down inside him. If not, the course, I didn't mean the course came right from his stomach. I didn't mean the course is actually something that is so painful. I tell you, you imagine someone giving laying a course. Well, it, it costs on someone with tears. You know what it means. That's it. So I think the cost wasn't effective because it wasn't coming from the heart. You understand? So that is one of the reasons why it never gained effect. But then, at first, Bishop Oedipo was offended by laying a cost on that student. It is wrong. For him to be, for, for him to be a man of God and laying a on someone, it is a sin. So he deserves to ask for mercy. Then for the young man, I don't actually know what transpired between the both of them, but um, I want to say that he is successful because the cause never came right from the stomach. All right? So whatever the case may be, I will say that Bishop Yeripu, um generally, he should learn not to be laying cause on somebody. Bishop Oribu is always used to that. I remember vividly during the period of pandemic, he laid costs on the government. You understand? He laid costs on the government, and he laid costs on, on, the, on, the, on, on, on the president's aides, aides. So it is wrong. It is wrong. So he should, he should be a good representative. He should good, be a good servant of the Most High. He should do what the scripture has told him to do with the mouth. He is the teacher of the scripture, so he should be a good practitioner of what he preach. You understand? So he should learn not to be laying cause on people. The mouth he used in laying cause, he should use that same mouth to bless people. You understand? So that is a reality. So to God be the glory, nothing actually happened to the young man. And um, from what I just find out now is that the young man is five times richer than uh, Bishop Oedipo. Wow, that's great. That's God in his making. But the main point of this 
um, brokers is that Bishop Oyedepo should learn not to lay calls on people because it is a big sin. It's a sin, my viewers. We have to tell ourselves the truth. Are you a Winners Chapel member? What are you? I think you should be able to bring a voice on this issue. He should. You know, be frank, be sincere, be straight. Don't be biased. Don't take the fact that you are, uh, because you are a Winners Chapel member and, um, and want to defend your pastor. No, no. Don't do that. It's a sin if you do that. Speak it the way it's how it's been spoken in the scripture. Say the way the, the way the scripture said it. You understand? Don't be carried away. Don't be pushed around. You know, be be steadfast. You understand? Jesus never taught us to curse. Instead, he taught us to bless. You understand? Imagine a mother laying a curse on a child. You know what it means. What did the Bible say about, say about the parents to the child? The Bible said, look, children, be obedient. Mother, be obedient. Mother, bless the children. And children, listen to your parents. You can see how the scripture shared it. So the scripture never said, parents, curse your children. Children, disobey your parents. That is opposite. So as a bishop, I think he should be doing the positive part of what the scripture is talking about and not the negative part. The negative part is cursing. So I think Bishop Oyelupo has done the negative part of, of, of the scripture. The scripture never taught us to curse. So him as a man of God is not supposed to curse. Instead, he's supposed to bless. You understand? So that is where he personally has made a very big mistake. And it is a sin and it, it requires... Um, a penance, it requires a penance and it requires a confession and a need to promise God not to repeat it again. Understand? Because our God is a merciful God. He will forgive him. Understand? And then as for the young man he laid cause on, he need, not to, he need not to worry himself because the cause never came from his heart. You know? And again, please, don't misquote me. You can still consult the scripture. Because the Bible still, the same Bible said that we should not provoke men of God because provoking them may likely attract cause. I get it now. So, in the process of provoking a man of God and it attracts a cause on you, it will affect you. So, you understand? That's the only area a man of God can cause. But don't allow them to cause you. That's why I do say that everyone should be careful with the way they, um, they, they, they handle men of God, the way they talk to men of God, all those things like that. You know, we have to be careful. All right? So, um, my viewers, as you've heard, please, you deem it fixed to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.